Hi again, fellow unlicensed thinkers. I love when the things that I teach, the things that I talk about come up in the real world. It's just a lot of fun. It, you know, can cause for, be the cause of some really interesting conversations. And so uh, the store I go to frequently uh, near me, there's this guy who works there and he's a really great, fun guy. Very awesome. Um, I love having banter back and forth with this guy. He's one of those people that um, in a lot of ways I'm very envious of because he has that personality type where he can get away with a lot of things that most people couldn't. As in, he has this certain demeanor where um, he, he is very loud and just kind of random and a lot of times that would come across as very annoying, but for this guy, because he's got one of those personality types and you can tell he's just, just a nice guy that, um, he gets away with it. So he gets to yell at all the, all the customers and, you know, make remarks all the time. Anyways, he's a lot of fun. So I was going through the store one day and I was walking past him and usual banter back and forth. Um, he was talking to some other people as well. And at one point he said uh, that he was just trying to stay humble. And so as I went by, because again, you know, kind of have a, a rapport there. So as I walked by, I'm like, you should never be humble. It's ridiculous. There's absolutely no benefit in being humble. And so uh, he kind of, he thought for a second and then he um, gave some reply. Honestly, I don't remember. This was like a while back. And so, um, and it ended up with me asking him the question of what benefit does being humble provide? And so the conversation kind of ended there. And so I saw him a, uh, a couple of times since then, and we'd yell across the store, you know, hey, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. Uh, that kind of banter because of the whole don't be humble thing, you know, just say I'm freaking awesome. And so the other day, I was at the store again, and he comes up to me. He had a couple of free moments, and so uh, he he comes up, and he was real serious, and he goes, do, do you mean it when you say that we shouldn't be humble? And I was like, oh, yeah, of course. Of course I mean that. <laughs> and so I got the opportunity to have this conversation with him to really get into it and explain how being humble is really, it's just another way of being proud. And so you're going the long way around being proud. So you do something and then you're, you're humble about that thing that you did, but then you're proud of being humble about that thing. Or you can really get into this big loop of being humble about something and then being humble about being humble about being humble and so on. And that can just keep going. But in the end, what you're really doing is you're feeling pride. So you're just going the long way of feeling pride. And so why not just directly go to being proud of the thing that you did, being proud of that aspect of yourself, being just saying, I'm awesome. I did an awesome thing. I, you can even say I'm freaking wonderful. And you don't have to be like this, this egotistical jerk in order to do it because me elevating myself or this guy in his case, him elevating himself does not put another person down. So me saying I'm awesome for this thing that I did, it doesn't put another person down. If they feel put down, which is what being humble often is all about, is trying not to hurt the other person's feelings. Well, that's on them. There's nothing you can do about that. If you are proud of what you do, then you actually invite them to come along with you on that type of journey. And you say, you could be proud too. You don't have to diminish the things that you've done just so that you can make other people feel better. They're going to feel how they're going to feel. You might as well feel good and set an example of how it is to just simply feel good. So anyways, uh, I had this conversation with him and you could just tell that he was like absolutely overjoyed with this new way of thinking because now instead of being humble, because again, he's this very boisterous guy, you know, very uh, loud and outgoing. And it was, it was like that way of thinking made it okay for him to just be this boisterous, awesome guy. And he seemed to feel a lot better, like, it, like a load had been lifted off of him, which is exactly what it is. We, we carry this burden 
of humility and we say, oh my God, I, I can't just be proud. I, I have to be humble about these things. Thanks, Max. That is awesome. And on that note, I'm going to end the video. Right here. I think I've set it up. You guys have a great day.